Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel today. And yeah, so before we get started, make sure you subscribe, like, and click the notification bell to my channel so you don't miss any video. And also make sure you leave a like and comment. Anyway, let's get started. So as you can see, there's a house behind me. And this is going to be the future family roleplay house. And I might go to my friend's house sometimes, but for the most part, this is going to be it. And I did update it because the childhood update just came out today and I had to do some tiny changes before I wanted to come out with the tour. I have literally so many drafts of this video, so let's hope this doesn't become one of them. So, yeah. And hopefully I can clean my audio up a little bit because my audio has been kind of... Uh, eh. Okay, anyway. So... When you walk in over here, uh, why is my quality so bad? Wait, let me fix my quality one second. Um, graphics mode, automatic, no, manual, manual. One turn this all the way up, okay. I knew something was wrong with my graphics there. <laughs> okay, so over here we have, okay, maybe I want to turn, maybe I want to turn this down, like, and this should be good enough. Okay, so over here we have this little thing that goes over it. It's really cute and I like it. Also, please don't hate on me for this house because I am so bad at personal builds. Like, I can build YouTube speed builds, like other people's builds, but I am just not meant for this list building myself so um just don't go hate on me in the comments and if you are one of my friends and you don't want to roleplay in this house well bad luck for you <laughs> so anyway um yeah so this is like a little garden area and i think it personally looks really cute so yeah and then over here we have a little baby stroller and some chalk and bubbles for kids or whoever. And in here, let me grab my chalk real quick. And in here, we have some little books right here when you first walk in. And <clears throat> then we have this little coat rack with um, a bag over here. Nothing much, really. And I tried to go with a little bit of a vintage style. And the kids room um spoiler alert was actually supposed to be blue striped walling but i didn't really like how that looked and i thought it just didn't look right fitting with like the red bed and stuff so i changed it and it looks way better <laughs> um anyway so this is the living room and we have a little bean bag for toddlers and it's super cute, even I can sit here, and then we have the TV, <laughs> where we have Mr. News Guy recording live today, which we are going to turn that off, and then over here we have this picture, which you will probably see a lot in this house, because I think it looks really cute, and I love black and white, kind of like London, New York kind of style pictures, like this, with a little bit of brown, and I loved that picture, so yeah. And in here we have what I call the piano room because I didn't know what to call it. And it's basically just a hangout room where you can talk and socialize with people. I don't know, play the piano, hit some good beats. Let's play this. Yeah, this is my favorite jam, guys. This is my favorite jam. So, yeah. And then we have some paintings over here which are super cute. And I will link the person who made the decals in the description below because i cannot pronounce their name and if i did it would probably take like five minutes and i don't want to waste five minutes of this video just trying to pronounce somebody's name because that would be annoying and yeah and the good thing i like about this lemon basket thing thing you bobber <laughs> is that you can actually grab lemons and eat them like you don't even have to walk over to the kitchen like you can just eat lemons here and then over here we have a bathroom the first floor bathroom and this is actually 
my first house with a basement. And I'm really proud of this house because I usually hate my own personal speed builds. So, and I really like this one. And it's kind of like a personal build. And I really do like it because I think it looks cute. And I love vintage houses, in my opinion. And we have a shower and all the essentials you need to get your hygiene mood up. I should probably take a shower right now because I am probably going to get stinky in the next three minutes. <laughs> and yeah. So let me just shower real quick. Okay, that should be good. So then over here we have the kitchen. I'm going to put this bowl away because children were knocking on my door and I was role playing with them. So let's pretend that was never there. <laughs> and we have a candy bucket right here, some tile flooring, and some, wait, no, not some. This is a table, the family dining table thing. And we have two baby chairs because I guess toddlers can sit in the baby chairs. I guess I'll have to test that out at the end of the video. And then over here we have a sponge and a trash can. And then, wait, I should show you guys the basement last. Oh, dang, I have bills. One sec, let me pay my bills. Pay those bills. It's only $498, it's not bad. Um, anyway, so I love the staircase. This is probably my, like, one of my favorite parts of this house. Because I have, like, so many favorites in this house. Like, this is just so cute. Like, I love the rug. I usually don't use these stairs. But I think they look really good. So, yeah. And then, again, we see the painting. And just a broom right here. And... Then, this is the parent room, or where I'm going to sleep in the roleplay, because, well, because I have the queen bedroom, because it looks cool, and then over here we have my dresser and a TV, because I'm an adult, I can watch TV all I want, <laughs> in the roleplay at least, and yeah, and over here we have the kids bedroom now this was the room i was talking about for the blue striped wall coloring but i changed it and it looks way better and i think that was probably why people didn't really like my house and yeah and i'm probably gonna use this wall like coloring more because i think it looks really cute and yeah over here we have a baby crib and some toys on the floor and a changing table and then we have the bunk beds for the kids and we have some clothes so yeah and then over here we have the bathroom and this is the jumbo bathroom I like to call it because get it it's big and it has a big bathtub you know and yeah so I'm just gonna eh, go for a dip in here so yeah Okay, so then, um, I promised you guys I would show you guys the basement last, and this is where most of the toddler stuff is, where I put it, because, well, as you can see, I don't really have much room other than the bean bag over here. And I also added some baby potties, because where's the baby gonna poop? So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, as we go down to the basement right here, we see... A mini sitting area or like a basement living room thing and then we have a little painting area for the toddlers or kids and then we have this little cooking area which I think looks super cute and I can even cook with it see I'm, I'm a toddler too <laughs> and then this is my work desk where I'm gonna go on important business calls in the role play and this sunset painting right here, this big sunset painting, is just so cool. Like, it literally just, it, it looks cool. <laughs> and then over here we have the laundry room and the power box. Okay, that is an example real quick. And, um, yeah. And we have another broom and laundry stuff. I might add, um, something else here, but fill in this blank space but I think it looks good for now and then we have a bathroom and it's a bathroom nothing much and then this is the toddler bedroom where toddlers sleep 
and I'm gonna make the bed because I was testing it out and um, I probably am gonna show you guys some stuff with the toddler update in a quick minute so this is the toddler room we have some toys right here we have the toddler bed and some books and toys right here so yeah so now we're gonna test out some things with the toddler update I've already tested most of it out but I don't think some of you guys have seen it yet, just in case. So let's just go over here and change into a toddler real quick. And yeah, this is me as a toddler. I like how you like kind of don't crawl, but you kind of walk. And it's so cute. So when you get in the toddler bed, let's just put my jammies on because you cannot go to bed without your jammies on. You cannot go to bed in jeans, which is crazy, and that is that that is literally what I'm wearing. So we are gonna change my jammies if this thing wants to work. It doesn't. Okay, so let me just change my outfit to my jammies. There we go. So now that I'm in my jammies, I can go to bed. And every time you get in the bed, the like thing to keep you in the bed and safe so you don't like fall out or something. It changes color every time you get in it, and right now it's this dark green, which kind of fits the mood of the house. And, yeah, so when you turn out the light and actually go to bed, this is what it would look like for, um, a little child. So, yeah. And then, um, let's just, um go to something else i guess um so these are some of the toys i actually haven't tested these out yet so i'm really excited to show you guys uh what can i play i can play happy and pause uh, okay okay that's cool oh my god this is so cute i'm like sitting on the ground i look like it just looks cute um so yeah this makes me miss my childhood guys <laughs> so um we have this phone over here i can't wait I can't, why can't I call anybody with this thing? What the heck? Okay. Um, okay, so, why can't I do anything with friends? Why? Why? Anyway. We are, wait, 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 wait. <gasps> the toddlers could use the toddler potties. Let's go. This, this is, this is, this is what dreams are made of, guys. Toddlers and potties. Yes. Let's open this door right here, and, um, I guess, let's go look at my stuff. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute.